Hey guys, welcome to the channel. This is Hindu Jr. And this is a let's play of Pokemon XD Gale of Darkness. So, this episode should be the finisher for this area. As long as I figure out where I'm going and it stops glitching out on me. <laughs> I just restarted my computer. Don't be doing this crap. Are you kidding me? Poke lag all over again. Um alright, let's see here. Oh, that's right, yeah. I yes, I still have yet to get gold bat up there. I'm I do not get the time to even think for myself anymore. With all the overtime I'm doing, I have to cram five days worth of content into three hours? Four, maybe? So, forgive me if I uh, seem a little off. I am tired, I am worn out, I am sick of the overtime. I just hate it all so much. <laughs> uh, don't get me wrong, I do like the money. The money looked very nice when I got it, but it's a love-hate relationship. I got the money, I liked it, but I don't like what I had to do to get the money. It's just so tiring. I am done uh, all right enough of my griping let's get to the game huh kid didn't I see you before yeah optional fight sure but well it might have been optional maybe if I had tried to go up the stairs just bypassing him you to stop me but either way you look at it Do not get it. I refreshed my computer. I literally shut it down and turned it back on. Why is it doing this? Uh, you stupid thing. It's going smoother than the episode a couple... Or the, uh, I think it was episode 37. It's going smoother than that. So that's all good. But it's driving me nuts. It really shouldn't be doing this. said it's smoother than, a, than the poke lag episode but I don't like that it does this <laughs> my equipment finds the worst times to just fail me oh, I just hope that it's not I hope it doesn't continue, because that would be worse. See, there are times where it just seems to pick up, but... I don't know. It's driving me nuts. Level 32. Three to health and three to special defense. One to physical defense. Ouch. And two to everything else. That's not bad, I guess. Uh, that fit, that special defense though is at a hundred. Jeez, Umbreon, you 
beast. I'm just gonna sit there and take hits like a freaking truck. Or a wall, maybe. Yeah, wall's better. It's hinting that it's picking up and it's figuring itself out, but... Err. Oh, that's, uh, not good. Oh, well. It hits feel neutrally, so... Okay, then. Oh, come on. Why? Why does it have to do this? smoother. I don't know why. Like I said, this thing is absolutely driving me mad. Can we not? Oh my god, seriously? <laughs> I don't want another Poké Legged episode! I literally restarted my computer so that this didn't happen. Why? And yet it keeps freaking teasing me. Uh, fine, I'll get this episode out of the way and then I'm restarting my freaking computer again because this is pissing me off. My computer is old, but it's not that old. It should not be having this many problems. Uh, piece of shit. This is killing me having to listen to this. This is butchering this game. One to physical attack, two to everything else. Well, okay then, Sfeel. Jeez. Have we met somewhere before? He apparently very much forgot the fact that he caught us at the boat, but okay. Yep, there it is. Okay. Cool. I was freaking out. Oh, don't be freezing on me, you piece of crap. And it's freezing on me. Great. This is just freaking fantastic. Yay! I have a Celio. He's bulkier now! <sighs> Celio be a bulky boy. Celio be a very bulky boy. Not as bulky as Wolverine, mind you, but still bulky. Didn't take a look at the stats too close, but it's probably a pretty big difference. I get it now. You were on the SS Libra when I went to get the snag machine. Okay, I got it now. I won't have to rec agonize over this. You're the kid from back then. I get it now. Alright, so... So, for those of you who actually, you know, decided to study the stats right before she evolved, here's the uh, other half of that. So, again, I mean, defensive T 
tank with really good special attack. She is not final level, or final form, I should say. But, she is definitely something to be cautious around. Alright, now that there's enough of that, grandstanding for Celio. She be a bulky girl. I'ma save. Because this is agonizing to deal with. Only six minutes have gone by in game, and I've recorded for ten minutes. See, and then there are just moments where it seems to run smooth. Kind of pisses me off that it's not just running like it's supposed to. But whatever. Hey, Watkin! That snag machine you say you went and got, what's up with it? It's too honkin' small. How am I supposed to fit this on my arm? But, uh, it's not because the machine is small, it's because your arm is so thick, Gonzap. Shut your yap! Bring me something so... bring me something so useless as this, huh? Who's this... who's that kid here, there? Hey, you! You're that kid! He must have come for the snag machine! Good work getting out here, but we're not about to let you have it back. Give up now, kid. Uh, that's right, I forgot I had to fight this idiot first. Then I can fight Gon's up. Great. Just great. Freaking scrubs keep getting in my way. Curse you, scrubs! Not that it matters, they're gonna die anyway. Oh, that's double gloom. That's awesome. Great. Psychic. <laughs> You're done. Uh, hmm. Breloom's kinda in a tough spot. We could probably go headbutt. I should deal with the other one. Worst case scenario, it just uh, attacks, no problem. Hey, it flinched. How about that? I like it. Oh, and then the other one used Giga Drain on Baltoy and just about killed it. Great. At least it was the one that didn't, that already had perfect health to begin with. And Psychic should do some good damage. Yeah, not quite take it out, but pretty close. Alright, so the headbutt did not do super effective damage. Or it, it didn't, you know, do a major... It, it did, like, just under half. So, I'll use Psychic on that Gloom. And then use Headbutt on the particularly hurt Breloom. Or, uh, Gloom. I don't know what I'm saying anymore. I think it's working fine. Uh, I say that and then it starts freaking lagging again. Oh, that's a Mantine. Okay, hi. Razor Leaf. Oh, you're a bastard. Yeah, there goes Baltoy. Damn. Baltoy just got no love that fight. Jeez. Ah, okay. Uh huh. Cool. We'll go ahead and bring out uh, Amphros. He should be able to deal with Mantine just fine. So, let me do Thundershock on Mantine. I would rather have Thunderbolt right about now, but... Oh well. The only reason I'm not using Mock Punch is... One, Headbutt is stronger by... A good chunk. And... Ooh, just missed it. 
Uh, if I remember correctly, fighting is resisted by both grass and poison. I'm pretty sure. So, I just gotta... Do what I can with what I have, honestly. That's why I'm using headbutt instead. It's just... It'll, in the long run, it's gonna end up doing more damage. And I don't have to deal with the... Uh, not very effective window. And, you know, lack of damage from it. Oh, that's a fortress. Well, crap. And this is where I regret not having a fire type. Cool. Or at least a mon that can learn a fire move. Uh, and Frost might be able to. Flamethrower. That'd be a little weird. It wouldn't quite fit, but. I'd be alright with that. <laughs> it would be a fire type move that I could actually use. And Grumpig. Alright. Um. Steel and Bug, right? If I remember correctly, I think Bug resists fighting. I could be wrong. But I'm going to go ahead and use Thundershock on Grumpig, and I'll actually use Mock Punch on Fortress. Oh, come on. Yeah! Good going, Breloom! And, yeah, nothing. It's static damage, so... Steel should be weak to fighting, so that bug do is resistant to it. That doesn't help me any. Granted, anything else I try and use is going to be resisted, so... Oh, well, Fortress got paralyzed. Cool. That kind of helps. Oh, boy. Grumpig has some pretty good special defense, doesn't he? Let's try Body Slam, see if that does something different. I know Fortress has insane physical defense. That's probably what doesn't help this at all. But Giga Drain ain't gonna help me here. And Breloom gets hurt. Great. Awesome. Fantastic. And then Sidebeam's probably gonna finish her off. Yep. There we go. Awesome. Just fantastic. All right, let's see here. So, let's throw it on Umbreon. Umbreon should be able to take out Grumpig real quick. And then I can try and use Thunderbolt on... Yeah, it did a little more damage. Ooh, it got paralyzed. Nice. I'll take that. So, are you kidding me? That's just bull. Wow. All right, fine. Freaking hackers. Thundershock on Fortress. Bite on Grumpig. Amphros is literally my fast, the fastest one on the field right now. Yeah, there we go. That's that's a little more effective. Paralyzed, can't do shit. And now I bite it. And it dies. Hopefully. Yep, there it goes. Yay. Hey, level 32 Amphros. So, one to defense, three to special attack, and two to everything else. Okay. That's not bad, but it's definitely not something you would expect from an Ampharos, honestly. So, yeah, that that special attack is pretty pretty scary. That special defense is also pretty impressive. So, not bad.
Oh, now it uses spikes l way late into the fight <laughs> when literally you only have one Pokemon left. Because that makes any freaking sense. Thundershock should finish it off. I would think. Yeah, there we go. That works. All right. Trying to take you head on was a bad idea. Yeah, it seems to run just fine for now. Hopefully that's the case. Oh, hey, not bad. Pretty impressive, if I may say so. Listen, kid. Why don't you join us? We'll smash Cypher together. If we snag all the Shadow Pokemon from them using the Shadow Machine, the Snag Machine, Cypher will collapse. When that happens, Team Snagging will step up and take over. So how about it? Will you join us? I don't know if I've ever actually chosen this. And usually the game has a way of uh, making you say no. So, more than likely, if I choose yes, it's just going to be like, you sure? This is a big decision you're making. Are you sure you want to join us? It's like, if you're going to double check, don't bother asking. <laughs> but you know what? I'm here for the views. Why not? Let's join up. <laughs> don't lie. Because you're obviously no good at it. Your lips are twitching. All you really want to do is get the snag machine back, don't you? Fine. You'll have your snag machine back, but only if you can beat me. Are you kidding me? I... Oh my god. I thought I would have a chance to heal. I'm screwed. I am absolutely horrifically screwed I don't have a whole lot of Pokemon still alive right now so yeah this is this is gonna suck Golbat's probably gonna hate me after this all right um body slam on electrode I guess ice beam on nuzleaf Oh, of course it would use Fake Out. Great. No, oh, I'll hit Ampharos. So I guess that doesn't really make a difference. And then Spark, probably on Celio. Yep, and... Oh, freaking course. Oh my god, this is... This is gonna suck. Uh, I get one attack off. After I get wrecked. Go away, Nuzleaf. Just go away. Thank you. And I'm exactly the same level as him, too. This is this is going to suck. This is absolutely going to suck. Vile Plume? Oh, my God. Why? <sighs> All right. There's no way Celio lives this turn. I'd have to use Amphros' turn to heal Celio so that I can use Ice Beam to try and take out Vile Plume. And even... Then, I don't think Celio is going to live both of them. Alright, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to try and body slam that again. And I'm going to switch Umbreon in. Hopefully they both go for... Umbreon this round because of who was sitting there. Good. Yeah, Electrode's the fastest Mon on this field. And he got paralyzed. Hell yeah, that's what I'm looking for. Oh, and Amphros is asleep now. Because it wouldn't have worked otherwise. Great. That's just fantastic. 
I'll call Amphros. And I think I'll have to. I'll, I'll bite on electro, electrode. There we go. And sweet scent. Oh great! Drops evasiveness. Not that it helps any. Just allows it to be able to put them to sleep easier. Ah, ah, Electrode is paralyzed. All right. So let's do body slam on Electrode and bite on Electrode. I just want to get Electrode out of here. Screw this, dude. That's out of the way. Wish cash, really? That's an odd one. Crap. And my grass type is out of commission, so that doesn't really help me much. My problem is wish cash probably has earthquake, which means that it's absolutely gonna wreck my team. At least what remains of it. Alright, let's see here. Yeah, I don't see... Any other way than to just keep biting on... Amp... Or on, uh... Wish Cash. Hyper Beam? Oh, crap. I don't think I've ever let it live past a turn, so... Woo! Umbreon held on. boy. Are you kidding me? Well, fuck you. God damn. Alright, Umbreon's out. Granted, that gives me reason to bring out Golbat, try and use Wing Attack to take out... Uh... Vile Plume. I have two turns to try and do it. Alright. Don't be slowing down on me now. They both can't move for a turn. Nice! And... Both of my mons out are faster than them, so... Oof. That hurts. Alright. I probably should have body slammed Vile Plume, but oh well. Wish Cash is just about out. Golbat's way under leveled here, so doesn't help much. Sleep powder. So long as it's not Golbat, I should be good. Dang it! Are you kidding me? Ugh. Damn it. Golbat. Wish Cash was paralyzed. That's good. Alright. Um. Think Amphros. Can body slam Vile Plume and take it out. I am swapping out Golbat for Celio. Just cause I don't think I can deal with having Golbat be asleep. Even for a turn. At least if I take out Vile Plume and he doesn't have anything too dangerous in the back, I should be safe. Oh, it's Skarmory. Great. Well, Amphro should be able to deal with that. Oh, crap. And uh, that probably goes, uh, Celio. Yep. Damn. Oh, crap. Uh, 
So, Golbat's asleep. That doesn't help me much. I'm surprised I last this long in this fight. Um... Alright, so... Either I do Body Slam and take care of Wish Cash. Actually, it just used Hyper Beam. I should be safe for this turn. I'll use Thundershock on Skarmory. And then I'll call Golbat. And then I'll have Golbat probably use Bite. Oh, crap. Oh, there goes uh, Golbat. Yep. Oh, ho, 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 ho. Golbat! Girl! Good going! And Skarmory is now out. Yes! Oh my god. I think I just skidded this out of my... Oh, just barely. If so long as Golbat can bite and take out Wish Cash, I should be good. Come on, guys. This is the time to get some crits. Yeah, Skarmory is out of the picture. Come on. I just beat him with half a team. Hell yes. I was seriously disadvantaged, and I I might have actually beat him. I mean, he still has my Amphros to take out, even if he took out Golbat. So, one to speed, two to everything else. Good job, Golbat. It's a hell of a level up. Not good for the speed, but whatever. It's supposed to be your best stat, and special attack is your best stat right now. That doesn't help much. Come on, Golbat. Damn it! But... No! There goes Golbat. Unless it attacked Amphros, which I don't think it will. <gasps> oh my god! God, yes! How? How does that happen? Oh my god. I just had the luckiest run in my life with this fight. Holy crap. Body slam and bite. This wish cash is done. Oh my god. That was... Awesome! Holy hell! Oh my god, I cannot believe how that turned out! Holy crap! That absolutely blows my mind! Gone Zap! You could have taken out my Golbat! What the hell, man? Oh my god. Oh, holy crap. That was awesome. If we had your expertise in the snag machine, we'd have no trouble crushing Cypher. But fine. A promise is a promise. Here, take your snag machine back. Huh? Are you crate and serious, Gonzap? After all the trouble we went through to get it? Weren't we going to get... Weren't we going to use that to teach Cypher a lesson for dumping us? This kid's fighting to bring Cypher down, right? Him and us, we're both after the same thing. Here, kid, take it. Uh, you can have your snag machine back. Yay! The mm. oh, second time we hear this. only ever hear that the two times you get that thing equipped. That thing didn't fit my arm anyway. <laughs> oh yeah, I may as well give you this too. It just goes to show how I can be generous. Gonzap's key, which allows us to access that treasure, which should have Shadow Ball, if I remember correctly. This is a gift from me. There's a chest in the corner on the ground floor. That's the key for it. Alright, kid. Get going. Cypher Secret Factory is to the north. We'll all be looking forward to your or crushing Cypher. That's team... That's when Team Snagum will again be in control. 
All right, that will do it for this episode. Oh, well, uh, Togepi is ready to be purified. All right, then. Oh, my God, and Maror B appeared. What the hell? Too much. Save. Yes. Holy hell. Thank you. All right. Thank you guys for joining me on this Let's Play of Pokemon XD Gale of Darkness. I hope you had fun. Please like, subscribe, and... All that other YouTube stuff. And uh, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.